fast forward. We've got all of our cameras connected wirelessly um, so that the search tool can see all four of them right there. All right, now we want to turn on our NVR. All right, um, we've got the VGA cable connected uh, right here. It's going to the VGA cable input on this monitor right here. Um, there's a LAN cable going from the back of the NVR up to my router and plugged in the little adapter, um, the power adapter going to the little power port in the back of the NVR. We're the only place where it fits. Um, you turn on the NVR and it should start coming up. It should show up on this monitor. And when it fully boots up, we should be able to see it in our search tool right here. All right, so got a splash screen coming up. Um, and out of the box, the NVR should be set to, um, well, I'll get to that part later. It's exciting though. All right, so it's gonna come up. It's going to, just not found. Um, yeah, I ordered mine without a hard drive. If you ordered yours with a hard drive, you wouldn't see that message. Um, there would just automatically be a hard drive in it. All right, password is the same, 111, 111, enter. One, 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 one. Okay, now you can choose between symbol config mode or professional configuration mode um, for what we're doing just for the network setup so the cameras can talk to the NVR. We want simple configuration. And now if we press refresh, since we have a LAN cable connected to the NVR going to the router, we should see the NVR. There it is. All right, yeah, the default IP address of the NVR is 192.168.0.10 um, and we are going to want to change that but we're going to want to change that in the NVR settings. All right, so configure network settings um, and basically we're going to do the same thing we do with the cameras only the NVR has a cool thing called DHCP. If it's not already enabled you want to click on DHCP and click on save. It should give it some new Numbers, it did. All right, now it's 192.168.1.148. The gateway matches the gateway of our router, which is looking like that. Um, so that's good. And if we hit refresh, the NVR should reflect the new numbers. And it is. Very nice. All right, now we want to go back in here and uncheck DHCP. Um, when I got mine out of the box, DHCP was enabled, and you're going to want to enable that because if you keep it enabled, it's going to change the IP address of the NVR um, every few hours, and the IP address of the NVR is what we want to use to access it through Internet Explorer, so we don't want that to change um, often without us knowing it. Alright, so we've enabled DHCP. Now that it's found the correct numbers for us, we want to hit save one more time. It shouldn't have changed the numbers at this point. Uh, we just wanted to enable DHCP. Now we close. We go into add or delete IPC devices. Um, and what we want to do now is hit enable auto add and save. And once we do that, it should just find all the cameras that are on our network already. Oh. There's one, there went one. Up, oh, one, up, oh, up. Oh. You can give it a minute, it'll do it. It did it, all right. Um, there's our four cameras that we put on our Wi-Fi network. They're talking to the NVR. Um, what we can do now is check out the NVR on Internet Explorer and it should show all our cameras. All right, so the, yeah, according to our search tool, the IP address of the NVR is 192.168.1.148. So we want to put that into here. 192.168.1.148 and enter. There's our login page. The login default is admin, and the password default is the same one 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 one. All right, 
and the same as the cameras, by default it won't show us any pictures. We have to uh, click to highlight one square orange, and then double click on the channel that we want to show up in the square that we've highlighted in orange. There's channel one, and then channel two, click on channel two. Um, obviously I haven't mounted these yet. I recommend getting this all set up before you mount cameras. Channel three, channel four. Um, and a good way to find out if a camera is going to work in the area where you want it to work is to take like a cell phone or something that uses Wi-Fi and kind of hold it up in the area where you're planning on connecting that camera. And if the camera, if the, the Wi-Fi device picks up your Wi-Fi signal, then your camera is also going to pick up your Wi-Fi signal. The wireless range on these is totally dependent on your router. So that's a good way to test out whether the camera will find the Wi-Fi once it's connected. Um, and honestly, once we've gotten this far, once you can see the NVR on Internet Explorer and see all the cameras, um, you can disconnect this VGA cable from the NVR and not ever tinker with the interface on the NVR ever again. Um, everything that you need to do in terms of recording and hard drive things and um, future software updates you can do from this menu here. Um, if you do ever want or need to operate the menu from the NVR, it comes with a mouse and it comes with a remote. Um, both of them work great, but I highly recommend the remote. Um, I mean the mouse. I recommend the mouse more than the remote. It's just easier. You got, you know, mouse is better than remote. Right, so I can exit out of that. Um, I can disconnect this monitor from the NVR and hook it back up to my computer where it belongs and do all the other settings that I want to do from online. Alright, and that's all. Um, have a good time.